What up, YouTube? I'm coming at you again with another tire changer video. Don't mind the mess in the background. I've got a lot of renovations happening right now, so just gotta look worse before it gets better. But just changing a couple tires here. I'm gonna save these scrubs for a future event, hopefully, and switch over to some new ones. These are the Accelera PHIs. They're 255 4018s. Gonna be changing them out for some Ironmans. These are 245 4018s. Probably one of the best seat time tires that you can get, honestly. And um, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be voiceover or whatever, but we're just gonna do some tires. And uh, for those that aren't familiar, this is um, an attachment off of eBay. You can get, I'll see if I can get the link in the description this time. Super awesome, uh, makes mounting tires a lot easier. Not everything's easy. Doesn't make everything easy, but yeah, such is life. This is perfect though for what I need it for. And then as well, we got the uh, aluminum cone here to center the wheel. So those are my modifications anyways. Um, yeah, let's get this bead broke. I like the stuff on the uh, stuff on the rubber there to break the rest of the bead. This side always wants to uh, stay out of the drop center. This tire is pretty wide and uh, matches the wheel pretty well. It's squared up pretty good. So whenever you try to break the bead on the second side, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to break. So crack it enough and then we'll work it on the machine. <clears throat> you kind of see it's uh, squished the other side back a bit. That is uh, one of the disadvantages of running a really square, square setup like this. But we'll get the bead broken while it's mounted on the machine. Grab the aluminum cone. Grab that guy.
I'm reusing the tire, so I'm gonna spray it down. And then uh, this kit, there's a bolt on this side. You can kind of rest that up while you make sure everything else is in the drop center. And this requires going back underneath and kind of prying up. And this is really only a really square wheel setup. It's kind of a bitch, but you know, it is what it is. tip you got along here put it up in a bun before you start doing shit like this Putting another tire iron right next to the other one. Low profile tires like to hop off of these duck bills for some reason. for later still some good tread on that too iron man's this on. Yep. Better close your knuckles on that one. Some tires you can do that. Um, Others you can't. And then with these ones, I'm thinking I might be able to just 
run the duck bill and not use clamps. I think I'm pretty sure I've done that before. So just um, hold the tire down on one side in the drop center. Doesn't look like it's gonna work. Could be wrong. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Didn't go in the drop center though. There it goes. center gives you so much room. <laughs> all right, that's mounted. I wish all tires were this easy to mount, man. Ironmans are awesome. And with these being a 245, gives you a little bit more uh, room with this with a wheel to work with. This is a nine and a half. I mean, mounting 245s on a nine and a half is just a breeze. And now, pretty much everything's in the drop center. I'm gonna have to pick stuff up. Make sure shit seals. Should seal pretty good. Come on. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> there we go. 
go. Getting this back into the drop center on this side. Unfortunately, because these tires are really square with the wheel. feels like it's going to work. No, it did not. So sometimes that happens where it hops off the duck bill. And that is because there's, a not, there's not enough of a bead broken. So that's fun. Bear with me. Well, I break this bead again. I need to get more of the tire in the drop center so I have room to work. And this bottom of this tire does not want to be in the drop center for some reason.
do this again. things. Doesn't matter if it's a 245-45 or a 40 like I'm using right now. They they all mount super easy. Accelerators have a bit of a harder sidewall, even the PHIs. So they're a little harder to mount. ceiling. Get this back on the drop center in the bottom so both sides seal. If you guys stuck around until this point, thank you very much. If you can, give the video a like if you enjoyed the content, or maybe even subscribe if uh, you think I earned it. So I'm going to uh, go drifting actually in a couple days uh, from now. Uh, I'm gonna go to Lock City Drift on the 11th, and we're gonna be sliding there uh, to shake down the car before vibes. Um, so we are going to go out to Pennsylvania again I am not, not too sure if I'm gonna be renting a truck or not. So I'm probably gonna be street driving this again. We'll see. Just wanna update you guys with that stuff as well at the end of the video uh, for those that actually care. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later in another video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a nice night, day, wherever you are. Peace out.